Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a review and demonstration of CarPro's new tire cleaner, Retire. Tire, as the name suggests, is a new dedicated tire and rubber cleaner from CarPro that has been developed to specifically tackle, strip and clean just about the dirtiest part of any vehicle being the tires. It's by far the brand's strongest alkaline cleaner to date, being more aggressive than Multi-X, which is their general all-purpose cleaner. And according to CarPro, it can also be used to clean clear-coated rims, and I'd also imagine around wheel archer areas, under body and potentially engine bays. So in a nutshell, it's a stronger tire cleaner that can also be used to clean most car wheels and extra dirty areas of a vehicle. For those of you that are interested, it has quite a high pH rating of about 13, which can be slightly altered if you dilute it. Though CarPro makes no mention or provides any recommendations of dilution applications with Retire, as it does with Multi-X. So I don't think they intended on it being as flexible as Multi-X, which is understandable as a dedicated tire cleaner. So let's jump straight into a demonstration on the tires of this six month old SUV AMG, in which I can tell you that the tires themselves have never been physically scrubbed since the owner bought it, so it should be a good test. And while I'm applying it, I'm gonna start with the user experience. Firstly, I have to be honest in that I'm not in love with the specific foaming triggers that come with Retire. They're non-adjustable and I just find the spray pattern too narrow, so it takes too long to get good coverage, and I also find it way too powerful in that the spray beam hits the tire and a portion of it ricochets off because it's just too volatile coming out. So I'd love to see a screw adjustable foaming trigger where I can dial it in how I personally like it. I know it's just a little nitpicking thing, but I think it would make a big difference to the user experience. Secondly, on a more positive note, I have to say that for quite a strong alkaline chemical, it really doesn't irritate the nose, eyes and skins like some other strong tire cleaners I use. So it's much more pleasant in that area. Now this could be at least partly due to the fact that the thick foaming trigger largely stops smaller particles from floating about, but in any case, there's very little discomfort and even very little smell, which isn't common for strong alkaline cleaners in this category. Thirdly, this is where it starts to get a bit more unique in that there's only minimal reaction, at least in most cases, when retire is sitting and dwelling on the surface. I mean, it's definitely pulling off some dirt, but nothing crazy like some other tire cleaners I use. However, the very second you start to agitate retire with a brush, it just starts eating and dissolving the dirt and grime like nothing I've seen before. It's almost like its molecules need to be agitated to activate them, but once you do, they just jump into turbo mode and the cleaning action comes alive with a vengeance. It's actually a very different experience and visual reaction to any other tire cleaner or all-purpose cleaner I've used, and I really think it's either the motion or heat created by agitating retire that fully activates its cleaning ability. Now on this tire, I reapplied Retire to see if there was any more dirt I missed that I could pull off with a second application. And as you'll hopefully see, there was really nothing left to clean off, meaning that a single application of Retire and really just a minute or so of scrubbing was more than enough to perfectly clean this rather dirty tire in one go. In fact, at least as far as on all the tires I used it on, one application has thoroughly cleaned them every time. But in saying that, it's not like I've tried it on tires that haven't been cleaned for years, so there's definitely more testing I want to do before drawing any definitive conclusions. 
Now on this second tire, I actually cleaned and then dressed it with a solvent based tire dressing a couple of days earlier to test out whether retire would strip off a more durable solvent based tire dressing. Now I'll admit that it wasn't the cleanest test I've done as it was hard to get the tape to stick to the dress tire wall and I smudged the dressing when I was drying the tire but hopefully you guys will still see in the footage that it quite easily stripped off the dressing with ease. So Retire is definitely not a product you want to use at least at full strength if you want to keep even a more durable tire dressing and potentially even a tire coating like CarPro Blackout. So just be aware that this cleaner is for stripping back and not so much for maintaining tire dressings. Now for a third test, I actually did a side-by-side -side comparison using Retire and CarPro Multi-X, both undiluted and both using the same foaming trigger to see how they compare to one another. Now as you guys continue to watch the footage, what you'll hopefully see is that as both cleaners are sprayed on and left to dwell for a minute, there's honestly almost no difference between them in their looks and behavior. But once I start agitating them, that's when the real difference comes to light. Retire just dissolves the dirt and grime on the tire to a far superior level compared to Multi-X that still does a great job but just isn't quite in the same league. I also noticed that after I stopped scrubbing, Retire kept on working and dissolving the grime for a good another 30 seconds or so, while Multi-X didn't and really sat there the same for a minute after I stopped scrubbing, which was interesting. One visual telltale sign in the footage is that dirt and grime tends to kill suds and foam. So the more dirt you pull off the tire, the more you will see the foam diminish and also turn a darker or muddier color. And it's pretty clear that the side with Multi-X has more and lighter colored foam indicating that it didn't lift quite as much of the grime compared to the side with Retire. I also tried a little wipe test with a cloth to see how much grime I could pull off the tire from either side and you'll hopefully see that the side clean with Multi-X was definitely transferring more significant grime onto the cloth compared to the side cleaned with Retire. Now I'll be honest guys, after testing out Retire on three sets of tires, I was running low on product as I only had 100ml left of the 500ml bottle sample I had. So we decided to try diluting it to test out how it would perform at a one-to-one -one ratio with water. One thing I will say is that if you are intending on using this on car rims, I'd switch to a normal trigger as the foaming trigger that comes with Retire just isn't suitable to evenly coat a whole car wheel area as it just takes too long and you end up using way too much product. I'd also say that I just didn't find a huge benefit in doing a touchless spray on and rinse method on the wheels because as I mentioned and demonstrated earlier, the real benefit of Retire in my experience so far comes when you physically agitate it. So I'd personally change up my technique and pressure rinse the whole wheel first and then apply Retire and start brushing as a better technique to play to Retire's strengths. Now in saying that, I did find that a one-to-one -one ratio still seemed to work extremely well, meaning that if the tires and wheels aren't completely neglected or contaminated, you can save yourself some money and cut it with water to essentially half its price. But just be aware that if the tires are really bad, you may still find a benefit in using it neat to save yourself the time of having to go over the tire twice, so just keep that in mind and maybe have one bottle neat and another bottle diluted one-to-one -one depending on what the situation calls for. I did also have a go with what little product I had left on some wheel well areas and I gotta say it worked great to my eyes, lifting lots of grime in those areas extremely well so I would also tend to think that for underbody and very grimy engine bays it could also be quite good. Though it would be wise to show caution around bare metal parts and materials due to its high alkaline pH and concentration strength though that's not something I got to test out personally.
I did end up diluting it even further at a one to two dilution. And this is where I started to see a greater drop in performance. Now I do think that if the tires and wheels aren't quite as dirty as these, it could actually still work well as a lighter maintenance wheel cleaner at this ratio. And who knows, maybe not entirely strip tire dressings or wheel sealants. But for deeper cleaning on dirtier wheels and tires, which is really what retire is all about, this didn't seem to work quite as well. And we already have Multi-X if we want a less aggressive all-purpose cleaner for safer and lighter cleaning. So what are my conclusions? Although I was grateful getting this sample of retire to test out, 500 mil just wasn't enough for a product like this to do the kind of thorough testing I would have liked to. So all I can do is give my initial thoughts and I hope that this testing was enough to gain some useful insights. What I would say is that if you're looking for a touchless general wheel cleaner, look elsewhere and maybe towards CarPro's own INX or even Trix if you want something more capable in a touchless manner. As Retire really seems to thrive and almost rely on physical brushing to activate its performance. But on tyres specifically, and with a brush in your hand, I don't think it's even close, as Retire just cuts through grime unbelievably well. I'd also say that this isn't a regular tyre or wheel cleaner to use for maintenance purposes, where you wish to keep and maintain your tyre and wheel dressings or coatings, as it's most likely going to strip them off. It's really a decontamination tyre and wheel cleaner at heart meaning that it's going to strip almost every dressing or sealant it comes in contact with, along with the dirt and grime. The thing about rubber is that it's insanely chemical resistant and really not likely to stay in etch or be damaged by chemicals. UV damage and rubbers drying up is what really hurts them. But in all the testing I did, I saw zero damage, staining or chemical etching, not only on the rubber, but also on the surrounding paint and materials, meaning that it at least seemed safe as far as my limited testing was concerned. I guess my biggest takeaway from all the testing was still the fact that I was just super impressed at how well and how easily it almost melts and strips dirt off rubber as soon as you start brushing, which is definitely its most impactful characteristic. When Retire hits the Australian shelves, I'll be interested in testing it out more thoroughly and comparing it to some other tie cleaners and on some other surfaces because, as I mentioned, I just ran out of product before I could get that far. But I think at the very least, it's definitely worth trying it for yourselves and I'll be interested to hear what you think of it. I think I'll leave it there, guys, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccad in which I'll have a link to in the description box and thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share it with others, give it a like and comment below to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.